wild how struggle brings people together. But one day can change a city forever. Tuesday morning in the middle of September. That day New York will always remember. It was 8 a.m., 80 degrees and beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. Business as usual, the hustle and bustle went along and unaware. That flight 11 just changed its course in the air. But at 8.46, something seemed to change. You see a cloud appear, but in the form of a plane, flying way too low, and it started getting faster. It couldn't be. No, it's a disaster. The last shadow and smoke floor, the plane soared, but it could have been an accident. No one was really sure until 9.03. That's when the whole world came. The second plane hit the South Tower with the wrong train. It's crazy how the struggle brings people together. One day can change a city. Tuesday morning in the middle of September, that day in New York will always remember. Always remember the smoke and glares, the hysteria, the nightmares, the pain, the panic, the prayers, the firefighters hurrying up the stairs while people rushed down in a couple of dust and tears. It was hard to believe, even harder to breathe. We balled up our fists and we rolled up our sleeves as the victims' families fell to their knees. We all watched the buildings crumble, the towers sitting in a pile of rubble. There was a lot to stomach watching them coming, but this is New York City. We don't run from it. We take care of it. We don't back down. We dust ourselves off and pick the pieces off of the ground. We had a lot of work to do dealing with reality. The whole entire city was united in solidarity. The way it had to be. From the Bowery to Gramercy to right here in Battery, together like a family. 